The great enemy managed to steal the key from out of our very grasp. Damn the Eldar and their arrogance. Had we not been delayed in reaching the key, we could have denied the ruinous powers their prize. We still have no idea what this key does. According to the Eldar Witch, Inquisitor Toth holds these answers. If this is true, then he has a good deal to explain. The least of which is not why he would withhold information that could allow us to better fight the forces of chaos. Could he be tainted? The thought is unimaginable. Even more concerning, we know now that we face more than mere chaos cults, but members of an actual traitor legion, the very marines who turned against our emperor some ten millennia ago. Luckily, our scouts were able to track their sorcerer and his entourage back to their base of operations. It is located not far from our current position. I relish in the opportunity to bring death to these blasphemous traitors. <laughs> My lord! Blood ravens approach from the south. How did they get so close? My lord, these flies are minor annoyances. We have the key and ample bodies to imprison the blood ravens behind a wall of corpses while we complete the ceremony. Your assurances leave me cold, Sindri. Events have proven my words true in every turn, my lord. We are not in danger. Events have proven you fortunate sorcerer. To what do you owe this present bout of nauseous optimism? We have received a message, Lord Bale. We have a new ally who is more than ready to betray the Blood Ravens. Excellent. Prepare for what is to come and dispose of this idiot. Why? Uh, how have I failed? You were stupid enough to personally deliver ill news to Lord Bale. And we cannot abide stupidity. Brother Matteo, report. The Chaos Forces have rent an impassable chasm through the center of the city and have taken up position in a temple. The battle is upon us, Captain. We are arriving at your position momentarily. Hold the chasm. I will deal with the temple. It will be done. You are finished, Apothecary. Had the Emperor not intended I suffer, then I would feel no pain. What foul acts are these heathens involved in? They are performing a ceremony to release the key from its bindings. We must stop them. Yes. We will need to break down the mighty doors of that once glorious temple. It appears they have rent a chasm across the city, stopping us from reaching the other side. An outpost with machine cults located here gives us access to the vehicles we will surely require. Secure the outpost and stop that ceremony. Inquisitor Toth has arrived at your request. And what do our scouts say? The guard's distraction was a success. The Chaos Lord and his host escaped. We are, however, tracking their movements and questioning some of the traitor guard that we captured. How could I not have seen this? How is it I am blind when it matters the most? Are you referring to these traitorous guardsmen or the destruction of your homeworld, Cyrene? I should have seen the rot before it spread. Instead, I was blind for far too long. I put my own world to the torch. I killed with the Inquisition's eager sanction and watched too many innocents die in a holy firestorm. And yet, here I am again at yet another doorstep, with the Executioner's blade in my very hand. Blessed is the mind too small for doubt, Gabriel. Perhaps there is truth in there for the both of us. I still believe, old friend. I believe in the sovereign might of the Golden Throne, and in the purity of the Imperium. 
But you have lost faith in yourself. Only in what I see, Isidore. Only in what I see. And what is it that you see, Captain? I see conspirators and liars more concerned with their own agenda than the will of the Emperor. I am not so easily cowed by such displays, Captain. You lied to me and cost me men! Better they die, their blood pure. If you feel warranted in handing out recriminations, then their deaths are on your head. I warned you to leave this world, to leave Tartarus for the Warp Storm. Your words still ring untrue, Inquisitor. I know you were here before we arrived. I am not in the habit of explaining my actions, Captain. But yes, I was here before you arrived. Stalking after horrors to strip my knights of their dreams. The same horrors that the legions of chaos seek. On Tartarus, there are no coincidences, Captain. There is only the storm that winnows the faithful from the heretic. Are we faithful men, Toth? Good servants of the Emperor? It is time for us to put aside our differences. What do they seek, Toth? What do you seek here? This world is cursed, Captain. Thousands of years ago, an artifact of ancient evil power was lost here. The forces of Chaos seek this artifact. They've sought it for centuries, but have never held all the pieces of the puzzle. And now they do. An Imperial excavation team uncovered the first marker, and word somehow got to the enemy. With the knowledge of the exact planet and the first marker, it was a simple matter to uncover the remainder. Now they have the last piece necessary. A key to unearth the artifact itself. What is this artifact? A stone called the Maledictum. It contains a creature of great evil, a creature of chaos itself. The stone imprisons a demon, one of untold power. How is it possible that the citizens of Tartarus did not know this? These artifacts lay buried beneath their own cities. From what I surmise, the demon within the Maledictum may be imprisoned, but it is not powerless. It can still influence people with visions and madness. The ancient text in the Registratum Malpheus speaks of a warp storm that visited this system at an age when many Space Marine chapters were still young. The storm drove the inhabitants of this planet insane. Under the demon's influence, they hit the markers and buried the maledictum to protect it against hunters like myself. When colonists returned to this world, they remained ignorant of the perils. They built over the dark places, never knowing what lay beneath. And the Eldar, did they seek this power for themselves? No, it was they who imprisoned the demon in the first place. The Elder fiercely safeguard knowledge of the stone against all others, going so far as to interfere in our efforts to find it. As Chaos's most ancient enemy, they see themselves as the only capable defense against its influence, and we have paid for their arrogance. I assume there is still time to avert disaster. This is already a disaster. The power of the Melodictum is enough to turn the faithful and drive men mad. Many of the Imperial Guard and local population have already turned, as you've seen. It's affecting you, and your men as well. I can feel it. It is calling the Warp Storm to eclipse this system. It wants to trap us here, with it, so it can force even the best of us to serve its twisted will. This is why I encouraged you to leave, why I still encourage it. You know I cannot do that. I will not shrink away in the face of evil. I would do no less. Enough. Let us end this bickering and face our enemy united. Together, we have a better chance of finding and destroying the Maledictum. Think of the good.
Tartarus is a planet gone mad. Over 60% of the population has fallen to the Orc forces, and what's left of the Imperial Guard are fighting a desperate losing battle to protect those that remain as they leave the planet. The traitor Imperial Guard we encountered in Louvre Mar are not the only ones. Nearly 25% of the Guard has treacherously turned on their former comrades forming maniacal blood cults that ambush and carve up their fellow guardsmen. Certainly, I have seen the powers of chaos affect the minds of men, but never so many at once, and never so quickly. The Imperial Navy holds orbit, and the Blood Raven's own battle barge, the Litany of Fury, awaits a call from me to send transports to pick up all Blood Raven forces on a moment's notice. We are prepared to leave this doomed planet. But before we go, there are things we must do first. Put a stop to the forces of chaos, and destroy the maledictum, or die trying. All power demands sacrifice. The universe rewards those willing to spill their life's blood for the promise of power. Sindri! <sighs> what, my lord? And the traitor Imperial Guardsmen have fallen so quickly. I expected them to last a bit longer. Some of them have betrayed our position to the Blood Ravens. They're on their way here, now. Continue chanting. I shan't be long. The circumstances you mention are divine providence, my lord. Everything is as planned. Once I dispense with this last obstacle, you will have that which we have plotted and schemed to achieve. And if the Space Marines should arrive before Providence graces us, then we shall play the good hosts and indulge them in a bloody feast. At all costs, however, keep them from interfering. This is a delicate process that cannot well afford any more interruptions. And, might I advise you, throw everything at the Blood Ravens. Everything. Their every contribution in this matter is paramount. Especially when we are so close. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Power demands. Sacrifice. Now you know what we fight and why. We will launch a two-prong assault against the temple with the help of several guardsmen units who remain loyal to the Emperor. We must stop our adversaries from uncovering the maledictum. Come with me. You have new orders. We know of a hidden way into the temple. Tell no one else. It is a surprise. Sindri! Sindri! Lord Bale. Nurture failed to break the protective seal guarding the stone. But then, I already anticipated it might work. In fact, I counted on it. We require a larger sacrifice. It is time. Leave him. How dare you, sorcerer! My lord, never forget all power demands sacrifice. Thank you for yours. Sunday. Oh. There it 
is, as I promised, yours for the taking. Old friend? I first met the librarian Isidore Achios when I was still a battle brother with no men at my command. Over 30 years in service, and I had not even attained veteran status. I had seen the power of the librarians and their neophytes, but none who wielded the kind of raw power, ability, and will that Isidore possessed. In battle, I discovered that these traits were matched only by his knowledge and wisdom. He was truly a great man. He will be missed. Now I go to destroy the traitorous individual who inhabits Isidore's form. Emperor, give me strength. What news, Sergeant? The Chaos Marines retreated to this city and entrenched themselves. Whatever is to happen, will happen here. And the good captain. I would call him starved for vengeance. But my words are inadequate to encompass his fury. Make ready. We have wasted enough time and suffered for it. Agreed. But we knew nothing of our enemy or his intentions. Bale was someone's pawn. Sindri, he called him. Sindri is not my concern. Isidore is. He has fallen, and he will find me at his doorstep. Now you know the full weight of my original concerns. I must admit, I was surprised that it was Isidore who succumbed. I know. You suspected me. It takes either steel or rot to willingly condemn your own world, your very family, to the torch. I sense the seed of chaos in your midst, and you seemed too eager to uncover this planet's secrets. But I was so certain the taint stemmed from you that I failed to notice its true source in Isidore. I was wrong, Captain. We will discuss the matter another time, Inquisitor. For now, we have an enemy who demands our ministrations. You allowed me to take the stone. You were true to your word, and for that you are a fool. Better I keep the Mamedictum with me. You are too weak to stomach its gifts. And now, I will use its power to destroy you. Lord Bale was likewise foolish in believing me defenseless, believing himself in control. Make it stop! The orcs thought more of their abilities than they did of me. But I relied on their arrogance at my benefit alone. Please! You, however, you hold promise. And for that, I should let you die before you prove too great a threat. But I have invested too much effort into you. And... Had you a century to prepare, it would still be too late to stop me from achieving my glory. Now I must prepare. Attend to the captain's demise, if you are capable. What makes you think that I will do your bidding? You have little choice. Your captain is quite tenacious. You more than anyone know that. You will have to deal with him, and that benefits me. Oh, and thank you for delivering the maledictum. You cannot abandon me now? Oh, but I can, and I do. At least I leave you in good company. Now, prove yourself worthy. Go, spill the blood of those who were your brothers. Spill the blood. Blood for the blood god. You are a fool, Gabriel. 
You know you are no match for me. Of all my brothers, why you? You were stronger than this. I am stronger than you ever imagined. I can feel the universe tremble at my approach. Even the gods know my name! No one will remember you, traitor. I will see to that. Pathetic. You were great once, before doubt addled your will. Before you rendered judgment on Cyrene. Before you murdered the innocent and guilty, all in one stroke. You weak, sorry fool! How does it feel to have slain millions? To have betrayed your own family! I betrayed no one. Innocents die so that humanity may live. I ended their suffering, as I will end yours. You have beaten me. I cannot believe it. I was wrong, Gabriel. So wrong. I thought I was strong. Strong enough to control it. I wanted to use the power for good, for the Imperium. You must see that. You must give me the chance to make amends, to seek redemption. If redemption is what you seek, then that is what I will give you. This is the fate of traitors. Remember this, and do not stray. If you do, I will be ready to render you the same service. The planet of Tartarus is ravaged. Its population has fled or died under the foot of the Orc. Its cities are smashed and burning. Its very ground is irrevocably tainted with the blood of aliens, traitors, and cultists. There is nothing left. Nothing but blasphemous heathens and the mighty space marines who will destroy them. In this dark place, in this dark hour, we will stand against the enemies of the Emperor, and they will know that not even here on this desecrated infernal rock will we suffer the existence of the heretic. Not now. Not ever. This disturbance is acting like a beacon for the warp storm, accelerating its arrival. We have little time left. We must assume Sindri has released the demon. Then our course is clear. We must destroy it. However meager our armaments are today, the demon will not find our hearts lacking. I know. I believe you, Captain. Here. What is this? A demon hammer. God splitter. We have always intended to destroy the demon within the stone. Would we not appear the fools without the means to dispense our wills? You? You entrust this artifact to me? I can think of no better champion to wield God Splitter against the demon. And you can call it a premonition. But I believe you will end this fight, not I. You are thinking of the traitor Isidore. I render judgment on more people than you can imagine, Captain. Trust me, you are not responsible for the failings or strengths of others. It is not our lot to test their purity. We merely dispense the Emperor's justice when they fail. The Elder, if they are this desperate to waste their already meager forces, then matters are truly dire. Prepare yourself. You are about to enter a battlefield unlike any other. Almost. Most. A moment more, damn you! Yes. It is upon us! Bear witness to my Ascension! 
Human, do not destroy the stone! You will doom us all! Ignore her, Captain. Destroy the stone before it leads others to ruin. You know not what you do! We cannot allow this. Take this human down! No! Fool! You have damned us all! Well done, Captain. Let us bid haste, brothers. The fleet is about to depart and leave us stranded. Show yourself, demon. I will soon kill them. Go forth and spread word of my return. I am not your herald, Warp Spawn. I am not. You release me. No, I destroyed the stone. Yes. And had you done so sooner, you might well have vanquished me. Instead, you contributed to my release with your every sacrifice. Sacrifice? What sacrifice? This planet was an altar human. To the blood god, Korn. Singly arranged the old invasion, knowing the space frames would come to end their threat. Every death was a sacrifice toward my release. And I must say, your contributions were many and magnificent. Isidore, Bale, and finally, Singly himself. Without so many offerings, I would have remained trapped. I thank you. I will spare your life for now. Yes, free. And know I will soon come to claim you all. Then come and find your judgment waiting. You have escaped captivity, only to face annihilation. I know you now. <laughs> <laughs>